Is it just a cold? Is it an allergic reaction? Those are usually our first questions after a sneeze. For a structural biologist, the challenge is to find out what initiates the sneeze, the mechanism behind it. And they want to investigate this under real-life conditions. Small-angle X-ray scattering with the modular Sac Space Analyzer offers precisely this advantage. We use small-angle X-ray scattering to characterize biomolecules such as proteins, uh, um, DNA and RNA. We get all kinds of different structural information on the size and shape of these proteins and their complexes. We get information about protein and biomolecular dynamics, which is important to understand the function of these biomolecules. Uh, we further exploit this information that we get from our structural studies to understand uh, human diseases such as cancers and neurodegenerative diseases and aim to provide new approaches to uh, treat these diseases. SAC studies of proteins can be performed both at synchrotron beam lines and in the laboratory. In-house SACS equipment has the advantage that you can run your experiments at any time and that you can react quickly in case your sample is damaged or bad. When measuring far away from your lab, you run the risk that your samples may change during transport and that they may suffer radiation damage from the highly intense synchrotron beam. With the SACSpace Laboratory BioSACS system, you have all you need right on site, whenever you need it. And you can do a lot of things with it. SACSpace gives you the size and shape of biological macromolecules in solution and provides you with information about their mass. Using the well-established Guinea analysis, you can gather information about the geometry of macromolecules. The radius of gyration gives you the size of your macromolecule, while the mass of the molecule can be estimated from I0, the intensity at scattering angle 0 in the Guinea plot. The 3D structure of your proteins or protein complexes can be determined based on transforming the scattering curve into real space and ab initio calculations of low resolution envelope models. SACS data can also be combined with methods like crystallography to model the structure of larger ensembles like oligomers and protein complexes. The Kratky plot tells you whether your protein is folded or unfolded. The protein's stability upon variation of external parameters is also easily analyzed using SACSpace. You can follow the folding state as well as denaturation and aggregation processes performing time-resolved SACS experiments. To understand how a protein interacts in metabolic pathways, it's important to know its structural changes due to ligand binding or interactions with cell membranes, for example. In my research, we use small angle X-ray scattering to study large protein complexes, biomolecular complexes of proteins with uh, DNA and RNA. We normally combine the information that we get from small angle X-ray scattering with other techniques such as NMR spectroscopy and X-ray crystallography. Only this combination now allows us to address uh, structures and interactions of large and challenging complexes and only the integration of all of these techniques can provide information and allow us to characterize these complexes. In the recent years we have uh, now solved structures of several complexes using our integrated approach and have now first insight into uh, key interactions in these complexes and how these interactions are modulated by uh, mutations in human diseases, for example. SACSpace is an ideal partner for measuring high-quality SACS data. This is a highly useful complementary approach for analyzing complex protein structures. SACSpace employs an intense monochromatic scatterless beam with minimum background radiation. 
It comes with an array of helpful features like True Focus, the fully automatic self-alignment of components with the X-ray beam, and the automatic configuration of sample stages. All of these alignments and setups are performed, controlled and logged by the powerful SaxDrive software. Now let's take a look at an actual SaxBase operation. Here we are about to measure a precious protein sample in its physiological buffer solution. We don't need much of this expensive protein, as we're going to use the microcell, which requires as little as 8 microliters to run a measurement. Filling is easy. Simply define the measurement parameters and press start. Everything else is guided by the software. So much for a single measurement. But what about automatically screening multiple protein samples? Here's the answer. The Saxbase's auto sampler lets you measure up to 192 liquid samples automatically, day and night. In any case, after a short measurement time, the SACS data on the protein is ready. Now we can determine the protein's size, estimate its mass, and calculate the 3D envelope. All of these results are additional answers to help you determine this protein's mode of action. The scope of questions answered by small angle X-ray scattering is constantly growing, as well as its range of applications in biology. With several new features and powerful software for system control and analysis, SACSpace is an ideal tool for uncovering life secrets. Like the sneeze. Using SACSpace, you have discovered its cause. You have characterized the protein that caused this allergic reaction. Based on this knowledge, the right treatment and medication can be developed, and you have helped affected people lead an easier life.